Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. When you pick up a brand new racket off the wall and you start looking at the details, like what are all the words? What is all the information? I'll explain today. Stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. My morning cup of joe sponsor is James Tan Yi Fang. James writes, good job, man. You are such a great social media influencer of tennis. I love all your videos. They have become part of my daily routine, just like your coffee. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, thank you, James. Um, and thank you for continuing to hook me up, James. I see you all the time um, hooking me up, and I appreciate that. If you want to support my dark roast piping hot coffee habit, all you have to do, go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin, and you can hook me up. I appreciate you. Mm. And I appreciate this right now. Ugh, need it today. All right. So when you go to a racket, when you, I'm, I'm actually going to take you over here to the wall real quick here. And I'm going to pick up these strikes here. When you take a look at a racket here, there are a lot of characteristics of the racket. Obviously, you notice the colors first. Um, if it's striking, but then there's information on here, like VS, right? What does that stand for? Why is it called a strike? When you look, turn it over, it's like, what are the key points of the technology here? Like, are we reading all this? There's like, you know, the, the balance, the weight, which I've gone over with you. But I wanted to go over with you on Babylon specific today what the key buzzwords are and why they are called what they are called okay so let's start with the basics though let's start with the basics pure pure drive right why is it called a pure and why is it called a drive well think about i tell people think about andy roddick if you know who he is so he was a guy who pretty much drove through the ball. He was the face of this racket. He, he plowed, he plowed through the ball. Therefore, it's pure drive. You're driving the racket through the ball. Therefore, you're driving it, right? You're driving it, you're plowing it, right? That's why it's called pure drive. Now, bananas. Why is it called a pure arrow? It used to be called Arrow Pro, right? They figured they make it all pure something to simplify it for everybody. It used to be called Arrow, Arrow Pro Drive, right? Now it's called Pure Arrow Drive. Now, arrow obviously means aerodynamic, meant for Rafa, right? Because he comes around the the ball like this, you know, windshield wiper, right? So it's easy for it to spin because of its aerodynamicness coming from the beam, the shape of the beam. Okay. That's why it's called aero. Now, strike. I'll just grab a strike team here. Um, this had many names before until they settled on pure strike. It used to be called uh, con pure control way back in the day, right? Which made sense because this was their controlled line. And then they changed it to pure storm. Like, what does that mean, right? Pure storm. Okay. And then they switched it back to pure control, right? Which made sense again. Right, because like I said, they're pure con their control line of all the frames. Now it's pure strike. Now, pure strike means controlled feel, player stick. 
right? So it's a strike, pure strike, like you're striking it pure. Okay, if that is so clean, it means clean control is what they're trying to get for. So striking the ball clean is what it is. Okay, so people say, oh, how did you strike the ball today? Oh, I struck it nicely, right? Therefore, the name, striking it well. Now, let's talk about some buzz phrases that people, that they use on the back like of the placard. All right, so let's take a look at some of the rackets um, buzzwords that they use, like on the racket, on the placard, just, you know, why they put words on the racket that nobody understands. Like, let's take a quick look here. So we all know the woofer system is the way the grommet is shaped into like a pulley system where it helps enhance and makes the uh, sweet spot bigger when you strike a part of the string bed. It's kind of like a lever system, right? And they've had that forever. Now, FSI, right? FSI spin and then FSI right here, right? Power. So FSI stands for frame string interaction. It's the way that the grommets are shaped. As you can see, uh, there are different shapes in both of these. There's like an oval shaped and there's like a diamond shaped in these for more spin or more power. So depending upon how you make the grommet shaped will depend upon if you get spin or if you get more power. And a lot of it actually has to do with the uh, spacing in between the strings too. So the shape actually gives you a little more spacing in between. Okay, so that's FSI. We've heard of Cortex 2. I think I talked about Cortex. It's a, here you go, Cortex Pure Feel. So we know that Cortex used to be here. And if you have an older Babolat, you see a little plastic piece here and here that said Cortex. It's a dampening system. Uh, they've since either tucked it into the racket or have put it into the racket at three and nine. But it's a dampening system. So let's go over RPM. What does RPM stand for? Rotations per minute. Okay, rotations per minute. So they incorporated this because of Rafa being off the charts with RPMs, rotations per minute in his shots, right? So the original one is called RPM spin control, which means it's the stiffest one of all, the firmest and the original RPM. Spin max, right? So they roughened up the string, right? Not only is it edged, which the original one is also, they roughened it up and they called it spin. So they came out with power, which is softer and provides a little more power. And they came out with a soft, which I don't understand, but for your arm people would suffer from tennis elbow, soft, okay? It tells you RPM, power soft. Finally, we have Excel. Obviously Excel, accelerate. For ball acceleration, more power off a multi. Finally, addiction. It's so you guys get addicted and just hopefully keep using this multi-filament string as it is their kind of basic, slightly premium synthetic gut. Now, the question that everybody was asking for, there are two things that people um, ask me. What does M7 mean in a string? It's seven strands. M7, seven strands. In gut, in gut, why is it called VS? Why do they use VS? It's very simple, guys. Version S. You know when you're in a lab and there's a bunch of test tubes and bing, that's the best one. That one works, right? That's the cure. It's version S. So 
It's like L'Oreal V05. It's version 05 that everybody's washing their hair with. It's version S. That's all it means. It means that was the best one, and we're calling it VS. Nothing special about that name. Okay? Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So what is this thing? I don't know. It says satisfying pop, so it's kind of interesting. Harry, are you ready? I'll be right there. We, we really wanted to go hit before we had to Ian, leave town. Ian, Ian, I don't mean to be okay. rude. Give me a second. Give me a second. We gotta get well, a Harry said, uh, like, I, I actually wanted to go hit. Harry! I'm coming. Can you hurry it up? I don't, I don't mean to be rude, but we, we have an Uber coming. Okay, it's a little tight. It's a little tight. I'll be right there. We're going to miss our flight. It's yeah. not worth it for... Harry, come on. Kind of last chance, man. We got to go. All right, all right. Almost there. Almost all there. Right. Harry, it's been great working with you. We got to take off. Good luck, man. Oh, Thanks, oh, Harry. oh, oh. Good luck. Guys, guys, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Guys, I'm ready. Guys, guys, I'm stuck. Ian, Joel, anybody? Guys, I'm stuck. Leonard, are you here?